So we're in the middle of the coronavirus crisis and uh, I've been in the house most of the time driving my wife nuts. So I decided to come out into my shop here where I could go nuts all by myself. And I got this uh, desk here. Uh, this is an oak desk. I'm not partial to oak, frankly. Uh, I, I j it just doesn't do much for me. And so I had a, a great idea. I'm going to put, I have a bunch of Cocobolo rosewood, Dalbergia retusa, a true rosewood. And why don't I put a new top on that desk from this rosewood? I'm going to show you this stuff. This is some amazing wood here. And I have it, uh, it's, uh, th this here happens to be two inch flooring. It's matched. Tongue and groove, it's got end matches too. So I've been dragging this stuff up here, getting it, uh, getting it laid out and to put that new top on that desk. Here's a chunk of Brazilian rosewood right there. And I'm going to show you this. This stuff here, this is a pretty good bookend of a chunk right here. Bear with me. I want to show you something. Look at this. I'll set this on this scale here. Fire the scale up. And let's try it again. This stuff is. This stuff is very dense, much like me. Can you see that? 11, 11 pounds, 6.2 ounces for this little chunk of wood. Uh, that is wicked heavy. And I'll show you right here. I'll put this back away here. Uh, let, me, let me show you something else. Wait, look at this. This is the real thing. This is Brazilian rosewood. Uh, this is a, a eight, uh, from the 1870s, a 121 Martin guitar. Now, look at this stuff. Are you kidding me? Look at that. That's, that's real wood. Look at this. Isn't that wild? So Martin managed to get a hold of some of the stuff that was left over from Louis XIV filling up the palace at Versailles with Brazilian rosewood. Brazilian rosewood is no longer legally available it's uh it's endangered because the white man went down and cut it all down now i i've done we just weighed that thing we got 11 pounds 6.2 ounces so i i what i've done here is i've uh I, i've calculated its density these are the dimensions of it uh I, I get it into uh cubic inches and then i divide it by the cubic inches uh in a foot 1728 then I get its density, its mass over volume, and this is called rho, uh, the lowercase uh, rho in the Greek. And I find that the rho for Cocobolo is 74.62 pounds per cubic foot. I happen to know that water weighs 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. So imagine if you took this chunk of wood right here, it's very hard too, if you took that chunk of wood and dropped that into a bucket of water, what would happen? Well, if you said it would get wet, that's partial credit, but it would sink like a stone. You see that? It's specific gravity. Uh, it's gravity over the density of water is 1.2. As far as I know, lignum vitae is the densest wood that people can generally encounter on the planet. Uh, I got some down in the Bahamian uh, Islands one year, 1.26. So 1.2 specific gravity is, that's a world-class dense wood. And this is the stuff that I had to work with. And so let's see what I've come up with here. I, if I had known I was going to do this, I would have had a before picture. But I'm telling you, the before was crap. It was uh, some crappy old veneer of, uh, of oak, boring oak. So this is... Now, look what I've done here. What I've done is I've put this stuff together and it's not screwed or nailed or glued or tattooed or anything. And so I can reuse this. This is still fair game. Uh, this None of this is nailed. So 
this is just for to finish off the back there so I'm gonna take this off and then let's see what happens when we take some of this stuff right here check this out Waco Danish oil this is uh this is the best stuff ever let's take some of this and see what happens when we take this raw untreated uh, Dalbergia retusa cocobolo and uh, give it a little uh, give it a little feeding here give it some nice oil some nice watco check this out look at this oh my god look uh, oops I'm trying to hold it on there but I'm getting too too excited look at this stuff rosewood this stuff is hard to come by it's very rare very expensive uh, we had to sell one of the kids to get this stuff and but look at it definitely worth it oh my goodness look at that can you hear it can you hear how happy it is oh my god look at this oh you're so happy aren't you wow oh boy this is everybody should have a desktop of rosewood i've always wanted one i think i might even take some of this other stuff and i'd like to have a floor of rosewood imagine being able to wear a thin pair of socks or even barefoot and walk on a rosewood floor you might if this this virus goes on for much longer you might want to think of other things you could do on a rosewood floor even but this is just oh my god and this stuff this stuff is pretty strong too and kind of getting off on it wow kind of cheap thrill look at this look at this stuff look at the blush wow look at the glow the rosewood glow see how it comes to life it's thirsty it wants some this is what it wanted now i want it to have what it wants wow anyway i wish you were here because then you could do some of this yourself look at that and this will just dry it's not a it's just an oil it's just a treatment for this stuff but oh my goodness praise god and now i feel better i feel a little bit better and i thought i forgot about i forgot about the coronavirus for oh god what was it three minutes okay folks thanks for stopping in Stay healthy. Talk to you later.